Hey guys, it's Binks from the Game Show here. I'm showing sure you guys how to get 100% in unpacking. This is very simple. This is basically will take you to an hour of completion. And I just simply it down because I fast forward it. So we're, what we're going to do, we're going to go into settings, go to accessibility, and we're going to go to allow items everywhere. By checking this, you don't have to put it in specific areas. Make sure you go to your controls and put the cursor speed to the max. Once you choose a book, doesn't matter what you put it as I put it as V and banks just continue going as we're gonna start off in 1997 it's very simple all you have to do is open up boxes and place things on the ground um, there's two achievements where we're gonna be going for there's gonna be one with the cubics cube and there is one where you get a photograph I just put down the cubes cube I didn't notice it but when you keep going soon you're gonna get a camera and once you pick up the camera achievement's gonna launch make sure you pay attention where that cubic cube is you could do this right away but i didn't i i was trying to figure out where's the cubic cube but right when you put down the camera you should get an achievement make some memories um i was looking for the cubic cube the rubik's cube and it's right there right by the garbage can once you pick it up what you just want to do is spam b and it should just solve it and you should get your achievement solve a puzzle and it's, this is very simple there's one achievement that goes through all the levels where you're gonna have to solve what do you call it not solve flush a bunch of toilets which is very simple and plus every time when you complete a level you get an achievement I'll be fast forwarding through this as I will let you know when I'm going to fast forward we're going into 2004 as I'm fast forwarding right now. What you want to do is wait till you get a mannequin. And once you get a mannequin, which is right there, press A and just keep pressing B or just go to where he's stabbing. And you get your achievement. Strike a, strike a pose. Make the mannequin dab. Keep on going until you get a toaster. I'm going to fast forward it. And right when you get a toaster, you could go to different areas of the house by hitting LB or RB, but we're gonna go to the bathroom. And we're gonna place the toaster in the tub. We're just gonna grant us another achievement. Make sure you flush the toilet here, but I'm gonna come back to it. Go towards the kitchen, and we're gonna try to get the cookie jar. I'm gonna fast forward here. And once you get the cookie jar, what you want to do is just put it up to the top shelf. And you get your achievement. It's sometimes food. As you can see right here, I just flush the toilet. I just went back to the bathroom and flush the toilet. I just do it multiple times just in case the fake glitches out. Now I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of the level. And it's not really anything to say about. Just put the things on the floor. If you don't able that one... A, Thing from the settings then you're gonna actually have to put them in their specific spots which is it gets kind of tedious in the last part on the last level and I honestly was about to lose my mind Once you complete it, oh, I have to cook for myself. Uh oh, get smart. Now we're gonna go to 2007. What we're gonna do is just keep unpacking and what we're trying to get is a gaming console. We're gonna put it on a little cubby. It's basically, it's a blue gaming console, AKA GameCube, if you know what that is. Just keep on going. And then once you get the GameCube, as shown in a little bit, there goes the controller and there goes the GameCube. Once you pick it up out of the box or off the floor, 
just put in the cubby. I was gonna put it right here and hit B on it. B or A, but B. And the TV should be going, showing cart cactus carts. Can you your achievement? Game on. So one more achievement where you gotta uh, get a green hat, which is, it's in the bedroom. I didn't notice it at first, but it's in the bedroom. So fast route through this. You have to be, even if you have the option on, you still have to be so cheat. I can't say it. There goes the green hat. No, uh, I can't even say it. But you gotta, have, you have to strategize because you actually will run out of space if you just keep throwing them has had, has hazardly on the ground. Just bring it down to the dining room and put it on the, the mannequin head at the top. Not the girl's head, but the guy's head. And you should get head on head. Found a head to wear the hat. And basically what we're going to do is fast forward. There is a bathroom which has a toilet. Make sure you go over there and flush it. There goes the there goes the toilet. The green lovely toilet. Flush. Now we just have the kitchen, which doesn't really do anything. Doesn't really have anything for us to unlock. Hit the lovely star. And now you get your achievement. Way bigger, way bigger than my last kitchen fellowship. We're gonna go to 2010. And right when we load up at the bottom of the screen, there is this radio player. Hit B onto it, B or A. And you should get your jukebox achievement, which it's not really called jukebox. Blast some tunes achievement. We're gonna go to the bedroom. And there's only two drawers that has, not two drawers, yeah, two drawers that have underwear in it. And what do you want to do at the top drawer? You just want to shuffle it until each roll has their own color. And that is basically the achievement. You just got to take the two pairs that are underneath and put them at the top drawer. Open up the first one, put them in. In their own rows. Do the same for the other ones, the white black ones. Close it. And you should get your achievement. Tidy whities. There's a toilet right there. Make sure to flush it. Do it a few times just in case it doesn't glitch on you. I never had a glitch, but still. Here's another one where you need to get coffee. You don't have to open up any of the boxes. They're all right there. We're going to grab the three things that are right there on that counter on the right side. We're going to go to the top left and we're going to grab the, co the coffee beans and the mixer, pour, whatever that is. I don't drink coffee. And then what do you want to do is grab these four cups. And place them right there on that table. And it based to the island. Go into the fourth drawer and there are three things in there. Some powder. Pouring cup. And basically two pouring cups. I don't, I don't drink tea or coffee. And you should get your achievement. Brew some coffee. 
now we're gonna have to fast forward where we're gonna be getting where we're just gonna be unpacking everything we're gonna do doing the bathroom first Once you get the yellow star, you should get your achievement. Too cool for school. Unpack 2010. Now we're going to go to the next year, which is 2012. If you remember that lovely movie where the world was going to end. Simply, this is an easy achievement. There's a little toilet to flush. Just go into that little dresser drawer, cabinet area, whatever it is. And in there should be a poster. Just hang it up in the wall and you should be able to get your achievement. Rediscover Childhood, Rescue Forgotten Poster. Now we're just going to fast forward. There's no bathroom, as I was showing you right there. Now we're just going to unpack. And if you miss a toilet, you could go back into the albums. All you have to do is just go back to the main menu and just res just go to one of the levels and then just click it. And you should just flush out the toilets like that. Hit the lovely star, and you should get your achievement. Home cooking. We're going to go to 2013. We're going to pack some stuff. I believe this is the one that stacks. There's two levels in here. I could be mistaken. Never mind, no, yep, this is it. So there's gonna be two achievements in here. Make sure you don't put anything on that counter right next to the sink because we're gonna have to plug in the microwave right up there. And one of the boxes is shown right here. There's gonna be numbers that you're gonna have to put on the fridge and we're gonna make a calculation. So like one plus two equals three or one plus two equals something like a star or something, a variable. Is I put them on the fridge. They're in another box, the rest of the numbers. So we're going to keep on going. Unpacking. We're almost there. There goes a heart. That's a one of the variables you could use. Here's a star, another variable you could use, and here's a number three. And here goes the equal sign. Put it right next to the two. Put the star or either the three, doesn't matter. And you should get your achievement. Brilliant. I can't say brilliantly solved. Once you get the microwave that was out of the box, just put them up here towards the wall and just keep pressing B until you cannot do it anymore. It's random anytime, it doesn't matter what time. Just keep hitting it until it 
you can't hit it anymore. You should get your 12 o'clock achievement. Achievement! Make sure you grab that plant that was off that box and put it on the shelf, because that's going to go towards another achievement. Keep on going. And there is one achievement that's in here, which is you have to put both of the fuzzy animals onto the bed. But you can't really do it until you get to the second section of this level. So there's two sections. Or it's this one and then another one right after you can unbox everything in this area. Not in this area. In this part of the level. So there's, yeah, you, you'll see. You get white boxes. There goes the piggy, which is the first one. First of the fuzzy animals. Make sure you flush the toilet as well before you keep on going. You get you have two chances, so if you forget to do it, it doesn't. It, there's no problem because we're gonna come back into the level anyways. Hit the lovely star, and you're gonna get your achievement, independence. We're gonna go to 2015. This is the second level I was speaking of. And before we do anything on top of these boxes or plants, of the white boxes, we're gonna put them on these like shelves. And it doesn't matter where, just put them on the shelf and you should really get them. There's four in the main area where you spawn at. And once you put them on shelves, go to the right, go to the bathroom. There's one right there on top of the box. Put it on the toilet. It doesn't matter. You can put it on the sink as well. There's three in the bedroom. Right next to each other. Just put them right on the right side or left side. It doesn't matter. We already put that one plant onto the shelf, as I said before. And there is one more, which is right in the kitchen. And just go to the right side and put it into the living room. And you should get your achievement. Green thumb. Found a place for every plant. As we're gonna get down to packing, there is one more achievement. Um, which I already sent the fuzzy animals. There's two ways to do this, which is towards the last level, or it's the last level where you have to put the two animals in the crib, or you could do it in this level. In the baby crib. Um, you could do in this level, as I'm going to show when we get to the bedroom, it's on, it's in the tiger stuff animal is on top of the bed. It's a, it's in the, it's on the box. It's in the box. that's in, on top of the bed. Keep on going. There we go. We're going to get to something that's on top of the bed. There goes the tiger. Or I just want to clear it off so I have enough space. Clear out the box into it so I have enough space. Grab the tiger animal. Put it on top of the bed. And bring the piggy along as well. His lovely friend, companion. And now you should get your achievement. Put the tiger and pig side to side. Now we're going to go for a fast forward. And we're almost there to the final part of the level. Which is basically a huge grind. So if you start, yeah, I got, it gets a little tedious. It gets a little sweat. You're like, man, I can't believe I'm done. And now you should be able to get your next achievement. Achievement love. Now we're gonna go to 2018, aka the long level. This is the last level as well. What we're gonna first do is there's two toilets in here. We're just gonna flush them. That's one right there. And keep on going. There goes the baby crib. And flush this last toilet. And you should be able to get your achievement 
for flushing all of the toilets. Gotta flush them all. There's... Of course, I already told you about the... You can get another one where you put the pig and tiger at the baby area. The baby crib. There is one achievement that's in there, which is you have to put all the baby... You have to put five baby blocks up. And that should give you an achieve. You're basically your last missable achievement. And everything else is basically the end. There's really nothing else. It, once you start unpacking, which is the longest one, because uh, this sucker took, as right now, it's going to take, I believe, 26 minutes. Um, I mean, not 26, six minutes out of this recording. <laughs> That's how long the level was. I This is me fast forwarding. It takes six minutes. Lovely. Going to the bathroom. I'm going to skip the baby bed, this baby crib. keep on placing all the objects down. Into the kitchen, which is gonna take a very long time. Another one is when we go into the closet, because you have to put all the clothes on hangers. Not, mostly all the clothes on hangers. It'd be, lov it'd be very lovely if you can Put them on the floor. You can put them on the floor, but it will take up a lot of space. I mostly did the hangers first to so get them out of the way. Because you get up hickety heck a lot of hangers. And the last part of the of this level. So now we're in the baby area. Entering the one, the one that has a plan on has the baby blocks. And there goes one of the baby blocks. There goes Miss Piz the the pig and the tiger. You can put them on that crib and you should get the, the achievement. There goes four, there goes five. And now we're just gonna put them right on top of each other. Here goes the last one. And you should be get your achievement. Your last missable achievement, baby builder. Build a tower out of baby blocks. Now what we're gonna do is just fast forward for the rest of this level. Cause really nothing else. The only thing that's, is just to unpack. So you could just finish it. You should get your last achievement. Just ba basically by beating the game. This is what I was talking about, about the closet. Those get really hectic in there. There's really not that much space, so you're going to have to unicate. You're going to have to put stuff onto the hangers. Unless you put them in the drawers.
Lovely. I believe I spent ri a really long time in here. Because I was trying to get all the clothes into the hangers. And then right when I got a box moved, I started putting everything on the floor. There we go. Now we're into the bathroom. And we're almost there. You just have to make it two more minutes. Wait, not two more minutes. One more minute. Because we're about to hit that 26-minute 20, mark. So congratulations if you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations, which... Not that many people are going to be watching this video anyways. So, by the amount of guys that's out there. Right when you hit the yellow star, I just tell me in the comments if you did. I'd be really surprised. We're going to continue. We're going to go to the next, not basically to the next level. You basically completed the game. I don't know why I was thinking about that. You got unpacking 100% done. If you guys want me to know what other games you want me to do, is I got the Forgotten City is almost done edited. And I'm do do transference and kill it with fire, which is the spider game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as I'll be posting more content. I just hope you will enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.